Hi Libra, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what are your person's feelings for the third party? Now, this reading is not going to be for all of you. This is only for those of you who are currently dealing with someone who you know is romantically involved with somebody else outside of their relationship or connection with you. So if you know that they're seeing somebody else talking to somebody else or in a relationship with somebody else, then this reading is going to be for you. I'm going to see what are their current feelings for that third party and also what are their current feelings for you in comparison. All right, let's get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's see, spirit angels and guides, please show me what are this person's feelings for the third party, whoever it is that Libra is connecting to and dealing with in love. Okay, in regards to their feelings for the third party, first card we have here is the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Wow, well, this is known as the card of the third party. So, very appropriate here. The Fool, Upright, Page of Swords in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse, and the hangman in reverse, and the high priestess. Okay, I'm going to now take a look at the energy of the third party, just so that I can see the other side of the coin, the other side of the story, and that way I can have a full picture. All right, Spare, show me the energy of the third party, please. What's their personal energy? We have the King of Swords, Queen, um, no, King of Wands in reverse, the Sun in reverse, and the Seven of Cups. So the third party is in an energy of confusion here. We do have the Seven of Cups, so it looks like the third party doesn't really know um, what they want out of this relationship with, with your person. When I say your person, Libra, I'm talking about whoever it is that you're dealing with in love. Yeah, there's confusion here. I feel like, um, it almost looks like the third party is exploring other options in love. It's like there's there's a lack of exclusivity in in this person's energy in the third party's energy. There's a lack of exclusivity. They're kind of shopping around, I feel, with the seven of cups and the queen, king of swords. This is someone who's shopping around. Looking at all their looking at all the alternatives trying to make a, a rational and logical decision more than more than an emotional decision hmm. let me actually look at that tell me about that king of swords spirit eight of swords in reverse and the strength card in reverse it looks like the third party wants to let this go, though. That's what it's looking like here. It looks like they want to let this go. It looks like they're... 
they're falling um falling out of interest they're falling out of interest with your person um libra tell me about the seven of cups the devil in reverse and the temperance card in reverse yeah there it is temperance in reverse is kind of a when you're losing patience it's a card of impatience so i feel like yeah this third party is kind of slowly detaching themselves trying to detach themselves from from your person all right let me look at your person's feelings now for the third party let's see three of pentacles in reverse full page of sword something's clearly not working out between them because we have the three of pentacles in reverse which means that there's a lack of teamwork there's a lack of cooperation a lack of an understanding between each other they're not they're not currently on the same page they seem to be um going through a lot of differences experiencing a lot of differences with each other there's there's a clash here they're clashing they're not they're not getting along with each other right now Ten of Cups, Cyprian. Hmm. Tell me about the um, the High Priestess here, Spirit. Clarify that High Priestess. Six of Wands in reverse and the Five of Pentacles. So your person does feel abandoned with the five of pentacles they feel kind of rejected even abandoned or rejected um in regards to this third party that they were connecting to i see a little bit of like the silent treatment i feel like your person is giving them giving this third party the silent treatment But we do have the Page of Swords here, so your person is not completely detached from this third party. They're still, even though they're acting here, because I feel with the full card, I feel like your person is acting like, like they're not bothering with the third party anymore. Like they're not, they're not waiting for them anymore. Yeah, or like they're not bothering with them anymore. I keep I keep feeling that they're not bothering with them anymore. Yeah, because I get an energy of them kind of talking to each other, but like going around in circles. They don't. It's like they never seem to agree with each other, and it's it's a battle. It seems to be a, a struggle and a battle for them to kind of get on the same page. So I feel like your person is in this energy of, I'm not bothering with them anymore. I'm tired of, you know, um, trying to see eye to eye with this person. Um, but I feel like with the Page of Swords, there's an energy of them still hanging on to this third party. Even though they're they're acting like they're moving on, you know. They're acting like they're walking away. Tell me about that fool spirit. Let me clarify that fool. Ooh, the moon. Yeah, the moon is kind of uncertainty and self-doubt here. Yeah, connected to the fool, which the fool means, you know, kind of embracing your freedom, embracing your independence, um, moving forward in your life on your own. But with the moon card, there does seem to be uncertainty and self-doubt in regards to completely separating from this third party there's still there's still an attachment here tell me about the fool and the queen of cups yeah there it is that's the emotional attachment 
So even though things are just kind of falling apart between them and things are just not working out between them, the emo- and the emotional aspect of things is still is still strong. The emotional feelings are still strong. The emotional connection. But I feel like it's stronger on your person side more than it is on this third party's side. I feel like this third party is not as attached. No, not at all. They're not as attached at all to to your person. I feel like the third party is very comfortable with with dropping this person. With replacing this person. The Seven of Cups can be replacing someone with, with somebody else. Yeah. And I feel like that's what they're doing. I feel like the third party is um, looking to replace this person and find somebody new. Because um, I do sense kind of a cold energy here from the third party. But I do feel like your person is... Um, Internally, they are feeling uh, wounded with the Five of Pentacles. They are trying their best to move on, though, with the full card. They're trying their best to move on. But again, the emotional attachment with the Moon and the Queen of Cups is, is very strong. And it's definitely causing them a lot of difficulty to, to heal to heal from this, whatever this is, I don't know, relationship, connection. All right, let's move on and let's take a look at um, what are your person's current feelings for you, Libra, in, in comparison to the third party. All right, spirit angels and guys, please show me what are this person's current feelings for Libra, whoever it is that Libra is connecting to and dealing with in love. First card we have is strength in reverse. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo, queen of swords with another air sign, six of wands, ace of pentacles, wheel of fortune in reverse, three of wands in reverse. Okay, let's see at the bottom of the deck, we have two of pentacles in reverse. The tower and the seven of wands in reverse. The lovers, devil in reverse, and three of swords. There's that third party energy showing up here. Okay. Hmm. There's a strange energy here. Um, it feels a little bit dualistic. You might be dealing with a Gemini. Because it feels it feels dualistic a little bit, yeah. Yeah, and we do have the card of Gemini here, the lovers, yeah. Because um, I feel like there's uh, two opposite energies here with this person. You can actually see it here. 
we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, which is um, very opposite energies. I, I kind of feel like this person is split in the middle, Libra. This person is split in the middle. Hmm. They're, they don't seem to be lifting a finger here because we have the seven of wands in reverse. They don't seem to be lifting a finger in regards to this... Um, separation or distance between you two we do have the tower so this would indicate that you two are at a distance from each other or separated from each other but they don't seem to be lifting a finger especially with the knight of pentacles here which is kind of a very slow energy and very inactive energy You know what it feels like also with the Knight of Wands? It's like, I feel like this person, it, it's like they go at, at their own pace, you know? So I am sensing in that sense, I'm sensing a little bit of arrogance with them, with the strength card here. There's an energy of, I'm gonna do things at my own pace, at my own time, you know, whatever is most comfortable for me. So I really feel like this person is thinking more about their own personal comfort and convenience. Um, more, more than they are thinking about like you and or, and or the relationship with you. Almost, it's almost like it's not quite a priority. I feel like this person is putting themselves as their main priority. I also feel like they're just kind of going day by day. It's this type of energy of someone who doesn't have a plan for tomorrow. They only have a plan for today. It's like they're, they're not really thinking far ahead into the future. In a sense, it kind of feels lazy. Almost like a really lazy, um, comfortable energy. Almost a little bit privileged. Kind of when someone is very privileged and they can afford to do whatever they want whenever they want. You know, it's, yeah, it's like it's something that they can afford. They don't really have to stress out about anything or anyone. That's what I'm feeling with this person. Um, so I do, but I feel like it comes from an energy of kind of ego, kind of, of, you know, like someone who gives themselves a lot of important importance. And there's also like a coldness here with the queen of swords. I do feel like there's a coldness with this person, um, Libra, uh, and, and the detachment. There's a, an emotional detachment here that this person has with you. I don't feel like they're too desperate to be with you, honestly. I don't feel like they're too too desperate to to reach out to you, you know? It's like I'm not seeing the passion with this person. We, there is a connection. I mean, we have the lovers upright, so there's clearly a connection that they have with you. Um, but I, why do I feel like they're over it, though? Libra, I feel like this person is just kind of... It's like they've, they've put it to the past. They've put it in their past, this connection with you. Almost, It's almost like they dropped it. Um, in their in their list of priorities, they kind of dropped it to the bottom. 
So if this were like levels, like first level, second level, third level, it's almost like they they dropped it to the third level, to the to the lowest level, you know. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? I'm gonna take a look here at the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords, yeah. Seven of Swords, it's kind of a sneaky, sneaky energy with the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this person is just kind of looking for, right now, they're just kind of looking for what's convenient for them, you know, for that golden opportunity that will that will bring them uh, convenience and personal gain. Not really, not really sensing a, a strong um, emotional energy with this person. We have the Six of Cups and the Seven of Swords. What's the Queen of Swords doing? The World card, yeah, and the Hermit card, yeah. So that's what I was sensing, like World and Hermit is kind of an energy of detachment, even aloofness. I feel like this person is very aloof, almost like they're in their own bubble, you know, they're isolated in their own bubble, in their own world. Oh, there it is, Queen of Cups in reverse and the Hangman. It's weird because I do feel like this person has feelings for you, though, with the Six of Cups and the Lovers. So I do feel like there are feelings there, but I do feel like this person is just kind of in a rebellious type of energy, if that makes sense. Yeah, it feels kind of rebellious. It feels kind of um, ho like hostile a little bit. There's, there's a hostility to their energy. Um, and I feel like, like I said, it's like they're putting love at, at the bottom of their priorities right now. I think they're focused more, right now their focus, focus is more on personal gain with the Ace of Pentacles. All right, Libra, so I hope this reading helped you and I hope it made sense to you and hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.